I guess I can kind of show you the inside of the old brain box here. Uh, here's your three coils, ignition box, bunch of random shit here. Uh, we ended up pulling a bunch of wires out because the dash that originally came with this didn't work. Uh, so we pulled all those wires out and then I think there was some wires that went to, yeah, there's a level sensor for the oil tank, which we no longer have. We're just going to premix. Didn't feel like that was just a bunch of more crap to put in that I didn't really want to do. Uh, so anyways, with the whole ignition thing, I had this backwards. Um, I thought that this wire needed power. As soon as you took power away, it would kill it. But actually, as soon as you ground this wire, uh, it kills ignition. So it's good to know. Got that all kind of swapped around now. So now it won't start without the, which is good because I wanted to use the safety lanyard deal here. You know, you clip this to your life vest. And if you no longer sit in this seat here, this comes with you and the boat dies and doesn't like turn into a Mustang and run into a crowd. So that kind of seemed like a good thing to have. Anyway, again, I think next time you see this, we'll be in the water. All right, so we're in the water. Uh, boat's leaking like a motherfucker. Let's start it up. You want to hold the, you want the cameraman? No. Oh yeah, this fucker leaks big time. I'll get dual shots here. iPhone and GoPro. Come on, that's it. Is that enough to do? I think it's filming. Jesus, yeah, you're taking on water, boy. <laughs> Will it move at all? Push me backwards. It moved, it like went up onto the trailer. The rope is still on there. You want me to unhook you from the rope here or what? Huh? You want me to unhook you from the rope here? No, you don't have to float off. leaking into the water there. Two stroke, dude. Hunger's not happy.
scared, man. That thing's fucking leaking. Wait. Fucking push me off. Unhook you? Unhook me. Oh, you're unhooked. Come on, huh? Fucking happens here. <laughs> Swim back to me if you drown. If you drown, good. I'm just gonna drive off in the truck and yeah. leave you. Just uh, kind of turn me around, I guess, because I, I don't have any backup. No. Oh, I suppose you can't really back these up. Oh God. Close there. Fucking hose popped off. God damn, the thing is fucking rowdy. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Didn't put a it fucking moves. Yeah, dude. She's gonna be a ripper. Oh, yeah. Dude, I cannot wait to bring this off to Dubai oh and just fucking. This is gonna imagine it awesome. wakes behind your boat, fucking make some waves, and then fucking just hit them. This thing's gonna be fucking nuts. Oh, man. Oh, it's you're, be quick. You're sinking there. Yeah, the fucking intake hose popped off the back. Oh. Oh, man. The steering needs a little work. Hey, now you got some shit to work on, I guess. Fucking tire. <laughs> There's a lot of fucking water. Yeah, that's a lot. Your battery's underwater. I'm telling you, that fucking plastic battery box. Don't have to worry about that battery. Yeah, just get her sealed up better and you'll be fine. Shit, I'm gonna call that successful. Oh yeah. How come the hand throttle, you were just pulling on the cable? Like what was wrong with the hand uh, throttle? Just not enough angle on it? There's not enough tension on that because I just got those two cables hose clamped. Oh. Uh, so I'm gonna have to weld them or something. God damn, you got like 50 gallons of water in here. Well, I looked back and I was like, holy fuck. I can hear it just like water. pouring in. Huh? I can hear it like pouring in, I think. Well, yeah, that, so that heater hose on the back, like the coolant line. Oh, that popped off. Coming out of the jet drive, it fuck, fucking popped off. Oh, okay. It was like, it was taken on water, but it wasn't like alarm. So, had this old girl out the other night. Uh, you probably have seen that video by now. And, uh, discovered a few issues. Uh, first issue is, this is held in literally with uh, self-tapping screws. 
So I have bolts that uh, need to get put in there. Next issue was, as we were cruising around, this popped off and that's no bueno. That is what basically is your, uh, your cold air in, cold air, your uh, water, your inlet to the engine. So that needs to get fixed. Otherwise we're gonna overheat. Uh, probably the more concerning issue really is this whole engine turned. Uh, you can kind of see here, I don't know if you'll be able to really tell or not, but this shaft is no longer straight with the world. Uh, this coupler was pretty warm when we got done, and I think it's there's a lot of friction here. So this bolt head here, this nut, uh, if I remember right, it spins or it doesn't come off. I don't remember exactly what the deal is, but I'm gonna try and get that off and fix that up to where that'll tighten down and hope that I can kind of wrench the rest of these down a little more and that it won't move anymore. Otherwise we're gonna have to get a little more creative with how I'm gonna keep that stationary because that's, I have a feeling that's gonna be an issue. Um, what else? There was a couple other problems. Uh, I found a couple more little leaks. Uh, this bilge pump needs to get put in. I did order another one of those bilge pumps to put on the other side. The problem we're gonna have is this jet drive, obviously, if I put the bilge over here, then it's only gonna pump water out of this side of the jet drive and uh, won't suck all the water out of the boat that we need. Um, let's see. Oh, steering. This, this steering here did not work out. So, <laughs> uh, I don't know how I'm gonna get these two to play nice with each other. But we gotta figure something out there because that's not gonna work the way we got that set up. So I gotta figure out, I don't know if I can get this spun around and like do like a double hose clamp or if I can get these two welded together. I'm pretty sure this is stainless and this is just mild whatever. So that's probably not gonna be ideal. Um, Otherwise, the uh, boat actually ran decent once it warmed up. I think there's probably some crud in those carbs that need to get worked out. But yeah, I was actually pretty, pretty pleased. It seems like it's all going to move decent. I was able to get on it once or twice and uh, looks seems to want to get up on plane. Uh, only other issue, maybe, I don't know if this whole transition here isn't quite right or what, but this is trimmed all the way down and it, I don't know, it seems, oh, uh, I just don't seem, I don't know, well, I guess we'll find out once I actually get it up on the plane and get it running long enough to be able to get on it and see how it's going to react. So that's kind of issues for another time, I think. But for now, we'll just start kind of cranking away on those couple issues. I think I'm gonna start with these bolts. That kind of seems to be the biggest issue. Then we'll probably move to steering. Uh, and then battery hold down, and then leaks, and then hose clamps. So we got plenty to do.